So for this example, we've got the matrix A, and we're going to do an LDU decomposition. Start by doing um, Gaussian elimination. So row one is going to be multiplied by one. I'm sorry, going to be multiplied by half. And then we add that to the second row. Row one is also going to be multiplied by negative one, and then we add that to the third row. So A becomes 2, negative 1, 2. Here I get 0, 3.5, and 4. Um, down here I get 0, 4, and negative, negative 7. I'm sorry, so this is going to be negative 7. Let me make sure I did nothing wrong. So um, this gives us 0, this gives us 3.5, then 2, so this gives us 4. Then negative 1 by negative 1 is 1, so we also get 4 here. Yeah, it looks good, okay? Now, um, the next step would be to multiply row 2 by um, here negative 4 over 3.5, which is going to be equal to negative 8 over 7. And then add that to row 3. Okay, so the first and the second row won't change. Third row, here we got 0, here 0, and then here we got um, 4, negative 8, multiplied by 4, over 7, minus 7, which is just 49 over 7. So this is 32, and then this means basically um, negative 81 over 7, right? So, yeah, I guess. Okay, so this is negative 81 over 7, and this is A in reduced echelon form, so we can just call this now U. Okay, we can also get L pretty quickly, so got 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. This element, this element, and this element are missing, so this one, together we look at this 0, Get this zero we multiply by half so it's going to be negative half then we look here we multiply by negative one so this is going to be one we look here we multiplied by negative eight over seven so that's going to be eight over seven okay so the ldo decomposition here is going to be a equal to l one zero 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 out of half one zero 1, 8 over 7, 1, that's L, then um, LDU, so D is going to be just holding the diagonal elements of U, so 2, 0, 0, 0, 3.5, 0, 0, 0, out of 81, over 7. And then U is going to be just the same U, except that we divide each row by the corresponding element in D. So the first row will be divided by 2, so we get 1, negative 1, I'm sorry, 1, negative half, 1. Second row we divide by 3.5, so we get 0, 0, 8 over 7. Third row we divide by negative 81 over 7, so we get 0, 0, and 1. And this is going to be the LD decomposition. And in fact, it's also an L, D, L transpose decomposition, because if you look at this row, it's this column. Um, this row should be also this column, but something went wrong here, so um, we have to divide by 3.5 in the second row, so this should give us 1, okay? This should have been 1, pardon me, so the second row is also the second column, and the third row is third column so this is an l d l transpose decomposition and whenever we're dealing with a that is symmetric a here is symmetric if we do an ldu decomposition it becomes an l d l transpose decomposition so um this is going to be so important when we try to find a 
Charles Kitty composition, which is which is also only applicable to symmetric matrices. Um, we'll first need to find the LDL transpose decomposition, and um, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you liked it, and thank you so much.